here's a Dodge Cummins turbo upgrade that I did for a 1995 Dodge. There's several different variations of the turbo itself with the base gate actuator and turbine housing. So I'll mention that a little bit later in this video. The compressor wheel I use is a 62.45 billet compressor wheel. And then I use a 64 millimeter turbine wheel. It's 64 by 76. That's an HX40 turbine. The original or most common HX40 compressor wheel is a 60 by 86 seven blade. So this one we use is just a little bit bigger. The HX40 is also 60 by 86 millimeter. Here's a look at the turbine housing. The way to tell the differences is mainly how the wastegate connects. So the wastegate is going to connect on these three and push up. But on a couple other models, one model has the wastegate lever will move from here to here and the wastegate will mount, I think, here into this one and then it will the wastegate will sit right here and push that way. This one is one of the early second gen turbos. So this was on a 95 model. I'm thinking that, you know, I'm not really sure which year model they had the wastegate that was here to push down. I'm thinking that was probably around 97, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. They changed the turbo about five different times. There was two versions of the H1C that I'm aware of. Well, actually, there's more versions, probably three versions of the H1C. Uh, mainly, there is a wastegate H1C, then there was two versions of the non-wastegate H1C, and then the HX35, there was this version where the wastegate comes from down to up, and then there was a version where the wastegate mounts here and goes from uh, side to side, like, from here to there and then there was a version of the wastegate for the 2001 or 99 to 2002 model where it had mounts on the compressor housing where the wastegate mounted here and just the flap was just from here to move from straight to 45 degrees open so if you want to buy one of these turbos, I need to know which version you have. And that's a good reference, so I know if you at least could get me the year model or a picture of the turbo that you have, then I'd have something to go off of. Here's a look at the back side of the turbo. We resurfaced the flange here. Usually they get really corroded, so we go ahead and take care of that and then round the edges here to prevent any cracking. This one has a 14 CM exhaust housing. There's a couple variations of the exhaust housings for these. The most common I think is a 12. The upgrades are all the same for each one. But anyway, this one has a 64 by 76 turbine. So I machined the turbine housing for that wheel. But also I machined the outlet flange and the outlet here so that if they do want to go with a 67 millimeter wheel later, then it would be easy to do that. All you'd have to do is just grab it and then CNC it out for the 67 millimeter turbine. The measurement here is 68.3 millimeter. I just machined it just a little bit bigger on this pipe or this outlet flange versus the outlet on the turbine housing. So it'd be easy to, for me to line this up and have this bigger than the in, or outlet on the turbine housing. The way that this model is clocked is different than some of the other models, mainly because the way the exhaust manifold is. So the exhaust manifold comes out in, uh, at an angle on this turbo. So this oil feed, you can tell, always lines up with this bolt right here. Or on the compressor side, the drain always lines up with a belt right here with the outlet. It's also like that on the two thousand or the nine ninety nine to two thousand two Dodge trucks as well for the compressor housing, but the the oil feed. Well, if you want us to do a service on your your turbo or build a turbo for you, we do have plenty of cores. You can contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.com.
The biggest turbo we can build out of this would be a 67 compressor and a 67 millimeter turbine. This turbo that I'm showing you right here with the 62 compressor and 64 turbine, I've had people make 720 horsepower at 30 or 28 pounds on a gas vehicle. But for if you're using it on the Dodge, most of the time people max this one out with a 62 compressor and 64 turbine at around 600 horsepower. It'd be like 550 to 600 is what this would be good with, good for on the Dodge. If you wanted more than that, we usually just take the turbine housing, machine it to 67, and then the compressor, machine it to 67, and then most people that I have built that turbo make 725 horsepower in the 40 pound range.